Uh, planning yes. and maintenance for $192,662. Well, what? Okay, paving and reconstruction is zero. Cleaning and maintenance, 192662. Second. Seconded by Mr. Clough. I, you know, repairs and maintenance, hire department, <coughs> lawn care, tree maintenance, street signs. Fairly straightforward, gentlemen. Yeah, lawn care is up well, 91%. I have a couple questions. Uh, yeah, I. Okay, yeah. wait, wait one second. Oh, well, Brian, why don't you go ahead while he's meditating? Um, is that what I was doing? Yes. I have an issue with the fact that I think we're getting a little far ahead of ourselves. I heard last night, and I was there last night. Yes. As far as tree maintenance, the lawn care, least the street signs. We don't have the people to do all this. <coughs> and I see, oh, well, we're going to continue engineering. We're going to continue to do this, do that. We're not getting anything done. Well, actually, under street signs, I did make that statement last night that I didn't have the staff to right. come up, at least not during that 13-week period during the summer. Right now, we have a lot of signs we're putting up. Uh, we order them, they come in, and we just, when we have the ability, like for now, it's too cold to mow, it's right. too cold to patch, this is street sign season. Um, tree maintenance, pretty much, I had over 40 trees taken down town-wide this year, only two were taken down by our staff, the other mm -hmm. 38 to 44. Uh, were taken down by Urban Tree Service because we use them under a bid project. And he's going to take down all the trees on one kind of road. When did that happen? When did they oh, do that? Okay. When did they do what? You said they took, Urban Tree took trees down. When did they do that? All, they've been doing it. They come into town one to two days a month. We accumulate six to eight trees at a time and then they spend. So it's an ongoing process. It's an ongoing process. I've got a. Uh, Right out in the middle of back, well, not in the middle of the field, but Batch Elder Field. Uh, there's one nice oak there that's wrapped in poison ivy and is hollow on the inside. That's scheduled to come down. Um, I'm trying to think of some others that. Are Do you get seven. anything for the wood? Huh? Do you get it like any trade off for the wood when if they take it away? Offer the wood to the closest residents. Yeah. But in the case of that one and three trees across the street it's so bug infested yeah. i don't recommend people right. bring it close to their homes yeah right. so a lot of these trees are that far gone mm -hmm. uh, including the one i just two weeks ago we identified one at seven little river road sent yeah. them a letter do you object if i take down the tree in front of your house mm -hmm. again if you look at it it's pockmarked with uh, looks like yellow jacket or wasp yeah. holes mm -hmm. um so I don't recommend they take it. But uh, yes. if somebody Mr. wants to, it's... Mr. Ladd? Yeah. Under street signs, do you have any provision for evacuation route signage at the beach? Good question. I don't. Um, Fred and I have talked about it a number of times. There's, uh, because those are state routes, yes. uh, these quantified state routes, it, there's a quirk in the rules about me not being able to put up evacuation route signs but I do know that we've talked about ordering them putting them in stock that way we have them Indeed. if something looks is imminent we would go up and put them up at least on a temporary basis attach them to a pole or a tree but we would put them up you can't put them up on Turd Street you or can't put them up down, permanently even though those are the top up top correct it's it's Fred's always reminded me of the, the ruling, but it has something to do with not causing panic, undue panic, or. Uh, but at the same time, I agree. They've it, been it, up since the fifties, all over the country. I know. So it's kind this of, has yeah. been discussed off and on right. over the years. The same result. Okay, hey, our, Kevin, I have a couple. <clears throat> of Mike, go ahead. Uh, yes, I was looking at repairs and maintenance under cleaning and maintenance, and that is. Um, significantly over based on the actuals uh, from se uh, September 30th it's about 40 about 
40 some thousand uh, off, I think. Total drain maintenance. Total drain maintenance. Okay. I'll repeat everything. Repairs and maintenance, which is 026 43 122 4300, and you have actuals of 49 344, okay. and you're asking for 10611. So, and if you expand that 4933, if you expand that out for a whole year, it's a, a little off, according to my notes here. Regina has a yeah. At the end of October, that accounts at sixty-four thousand three hundred and twelve, with almost fifteen thousand in open uh, fields. So it's okay. approaching ninety thousand. Okay. Well, how about the next? Uh, skipping two down, lawn care. They were actually having twice as much money as what they're going to, what they needed by the end of September. And I would think not too many people are mowing the grass, means you can't water it this year in Hampton. So why would it be double? It's going from fourteen. 415 to 3351, which that's a, is... That's a bid item. The weather's going to be next It's a bid item. Terribly dry summer, but if the lawn's grow... Yeah, but it was only 17 in the 16 budget. It's contract. And 15, okay. It's, it was it's been item, about yeah. the same level, so... It was 17,100 in 215, and in 2016 it was 17,300. Up now it went up 200. 14,415, and yet it's required that they look at the 33,000. That's like doubling. Mayor, that, Mike? That's not answering this question. Mayor, go ahead. Uh, Chris, there's more lawn area. Can we you did it all. a very simple explanation as to why that line ca uh, lawn care is up 91 percent. There's more. We we put out a bid requesting them to more, mow more lawn area, more parks, more roadside areas. Also, uh, in listening to some of the suggestions, management and others. If I don't have the staff to, uh, I should be maintaining my equipment and maintaining my wastewater treatment plant. They shouldn't be out mowing. Okay, fine. So I took all the all the land area that we mow regularly around the public works facility and along the sides of the roads and some areas like that, and we put it in the bid. And we bid it out, and this is the price we got back. So the, the real difference is not the amount of land of, uh, area being mowed. It is. is it, how much more area are we talking about? Probably almost twice. So we're double the area, mm -hmm. and we're outsourcing the work. Right. So we're actually getting a better deal. Yeah, because by now I... By the square I, foot. By the square foot, right. Because now I... Thank the you. people that we pay, we're doing... Planning. They're mowing the landfill first. No, we still do that. We still know the land. All right. <clears throat> if everybody's happy, I see 192.662 on cleaning and maintenance. In favor? Okay. Mr. Marrer, no. Mr. Pierce, no. I'm, I'm going to vote yes on that. Oh, Mr. Pierce is voting yes, and Mr. Marrer is the only vote opposed, I believe. All right. 